and welcome back guys so we're gonna be playing some more rush today make sure to like button make sure to subscribe button so it doesn't seem like i have much done out here um and there's a really interesting answer to what's going on here so i had an entire pier built in front of here and for some reason it's now missing i'm gonna guess that the cargo ship came by and just obliterated it because it used to have be three wide it used to come from down there all the way down there and uh, when I started building here, I got the rare sight of seeing the cargo ship plow right through a pier like it was nothing. And you would think that would be able to face through it. And I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> so you kind of see what's going on there is um, sometimes when you're building out here in the middle of the ocean on these plug uh, these platforms, they're supposed to be floating platforms, which is a plug for this rough rust server. Uh, unexpected things happen. So, today we're going to be putting the hotel finally. I'm going to start building in that direction and not over here, because clearly, every time I build in this area, things just go missing. And I think I'm going to upgrade things to stone as well, while I'm here. Just to be on the safe side of things. Um... I had to wait a little bit for the ocean to calm down. Quite literally, if it rains or snows, it just comes vi very violent, wavy out here. Uh, we'll probably build a boat dock as well. Uh, another reason I haven't really been producing much content lately is VRChat released, hey, we're going to be upgrading to the Unity uh, 2022. And I'm like, shit. Because I got a bunch of maps that required to be up dated to the new version of Unity. I'm like, crap, there goes a lot of my time. And then you've got me needing to render the videos so that they come in better quality so they look nicer and they are more enjoyable to watch, which takes time, so it takes time as well. It could be an hour for a 26 minute video to render. And the time it's done rendering and I go to upload it on YouTube, it could take almost three hours just to upload a 26 minute video. You kind of see what's going on there. It's like, holy shit. <laughs> now I kind of understand what's going on with the other YouTubers that are sitting there rendering, rendering their videos and they finally are ready to upload and let's say they've recorded gameplay for an hour if 26 minutes is costing me 3 hours of my life to upload can you imagine what an hour video looks like? Holy shit so yeah we're going to be attempting to make the hotel tape so I need to put in a roadway I think I'm going to put it, like, right here. So, one, two, and three. I think I'm going to do it here. And then I think I'm going to put the hell to hell over here. That's what I'm thinking. So, let's go down here. Uh, shit trying to eat me. And I'm just going to break the ceiling tiles so I can see where we are. Alrighty. So now, I'm going to go over here, and we're going to count out 12 squares out. One, two, three. Oh boy, it's already breaking. You've hit none of it. No, I have not. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now that we have our twelve spot here, we can now work our way back with foundations. Plus, oh yeah, including foundations, of course. And we can now build a new segment of road. Now with this new segment of road, I quite literally have to uh, go out this way far enough where I'm no longer overlapping TC zones so I can put a tool cabinet now. Oh 
Sir, you need more foundations. Oh boy, I gotta go make more. Actually, no, I don't need to do that. I can just do this. Oh, it's so weird hearing that. It sounds like an inner tube being placed. Alright, we can put a tool cabinet here for now. So the tool cabinet's gonna go up there. Why are we doing that? Why are we doing it full walls? So, when it becomes bad weather, so let's say it's snowing on the mainland, and let's say it's snowing or raining, out here, it's tossing your tugboat around like a rubber ducky in the bathtub, and it's just really awful waves, and you, you know, it was awful earlier for me. I was trying to get on my tugboat, and the waves were so high, I was being crushed by my own tugboat. It was awful. <laughs> so, uh, living out here has its advantages. One, all those effects that they put in for, uh, like, snow and shit. I don't feel no lag out here. I feel lag loading in for the first time. But, other than that, I don't lag. So... You know, building away from land, from all those pargle effects that they played for Christmas, you know, it's definitely better. Um, is it... The hard part is getting started. Like, it's taking all this time just to get to this point where I can start actually building it out. And I'm like six or seven days before purge slash wipe of the server so you kind of see what's going on if i was part of a team this would make it a lot easier but the teammates that i was with before left for another server which you know they thought this server was too easy so that's basically what happened with my teammates great people it's just they got bored really quick it is what it is. You find out by doing it. It's kind of like um, a club called Toxicity in your chat. One minute they're your friend, the next they're sitting there using you as a way to advertise their club. That's basically what happened to me a couple days ago. It is what it is. Bailey was not a good friend if they did that, you know. For now, I'm going to upgrade all this to wood. And then what we'll do later on is upgrade to stone. Um, the only other thing I could think of is maybe someone's been taking heli over here and has dropped the heli on the platforms. And maybe that's why the platform went missing. I don't know. I really don't. The heli fire can do damage to structures. You kind of see why I'm like, hmm. That's the second time I had to rebuild that one side that's facing the oil rig. So I'm going to guess that the um, cargo ship just demolished it. That's what I'm going to guess. I, I have no other answer to explain why a huge section of the pier is missing. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. And then we'll do that, and then we'll do two. I like to have my farm up and running on day two. That didn't happen this way. <laughs> um, I'll try to get video showing what it's like to be out here when the 
seas are angry. Oh, it's it's awful trying to build out here when the seas are angry. Like, picture this wave that's currently coming over the pier here, go being to the heights of that where it's poking through the floor of your floating farm. Yeah, and you can see why. Just instead of going half walls this time, I went full walls. Hell no. That is the answer to that. Hell no. do that so that it's easier for people to come up here. So I actually need to rotate that. I'll just do a normal stair and make it easier. And then we do this. Keeps it all happy. I'll probably come back and put chain link fence in, but you kind of get the idea. It just figures out where we are at the moment here. Uh, I will get try to get back into playing some more Starfield. I'm trying to do both at once right now. I'm trying to get my maps upgrades to the new version of Unity, and trying to balance uh, real life stuff and other things. You know, it's just a chaotic mess. But anyway, I hope everyone has a good Christmas when Christmas does come around. In case I don't say it. <laughs> Can't hurt to say it early. Alrighty. So now I'll temporarily do this and uh, that. And then we put this out. This. You kind of get the idea. I will have to move that area over there out more, but it shouldn't be too much trouble. So now, I gotta figure out where to put the dock. I'm probably gonna have to put the dock... I don't know if I want to try building on that side, because everything just vanishes, just disappears. Hmm. Because we definitely need one. Because if we don't put one in, then the boat is going to respawn every time the server restarts. So we kind of have to have one. But let's go ahead and move this stuff around first. And we'll deal with that when we come to it. I love how I'm hearing coyotes in the middle of the water. Now, y you can build out quite a bit outside the map. So when I say outside the map, we are currently building right here, which there are no numbers. And this is rendered in. What I'm gonna guess is the cargo ship came in through this way and just psh, right through the pier. So, I have other options of next wipe. See, as you can see, it's exiting here. Uh, my other options I can do next wipe is study where the cargo ship is coming in and out of. And, you know, I can build way out here. Like, you can build incredibly far outside the map 
you can build about here, and we can't even see anything on the map. Yikes, right? Yikes indeed. Support. Now go away, cargo ship. You keep knocking my shit down. Oh, here it comes, I think. Yep, it literally came over this way for some reason. It's coming right over here. Stop blowing holes in my ship. Literally. Hmm. You, you better start turning this way and not through my pier. Okay, it's turning. I don't like how close it is to where we're building right now. <laughs> uh... Please turn around the base, please. This is nerve wracking. Well, when you've got this all built, you'd be freaking out a little bit too if this was coming straight for you and you knew it destroys your buildings. Yikes. That's probably what happened to my pier. It was built three wides this way. And it went right through it. Because you see where the nose sh of the ship is now? That's where the end of the pier used to be. Because it hit one section, it took the entire section out. Yikes. Alright, we're always learning new things here. That's scary to know. Yeah, you're like, just upgrade the stone already. Eh. Which so much easier to get. It also fits the theme of being out here. Don't scare me like that, Mr. Cargo Ship. That was scary. <laughs> Alright, how many foundations do I got? I'm going to need more. I'm going to need more Scotty. So now, I'm going to build down here. I could just hopped off the side, but I'm like, eh. And I need to decide where I want to build this. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to build it right here. And we'll just pray that the... What do you want to call it? Um, we'll just pray that the cargo ship doesn't destroy it. <laughs> will be making the hotel out of stone. Just so people can't drop a helicopter on it. I could think of a couple people that would do that.
Your inventory is missing foundations. Go make more foundations. Oh. Maybe I will. You can see why this is kind of annoying though. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. Yes, why are you breaking these foundations? Well, if I don't set them a certain way, it's going to look weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a texture pack or related thing. I guess I know where I'm putting my tool cabinet. It's gonna have to be over here in this corner. Meaning I'll have to have a room in here. I'm just gonna do that for now just so that we have a spot for a tool cabinet. Change it up later on. Coming along nicely. Um, regarding the pier, I think what I'll do, because of how close we saw the cargo ship come in, I probably will put little piers in. I'll make it so that it looks like um, like you can just pull up type of thing. Big enough where you can pull up sideways, but not actually, you know. No. I don't know. I'll have to play with it to see what happens. Now, I need to get all the wood out of my inventory, otherwise I'm going to accidentally upgrade something to wood, and we don't want that.
So, we know that the... Do I want to do that? I'm sitting there. Hmm, do I want to do that? I was just going to do these, but I'm thinking, eh, it might be good to have this at the bottom. I'm definitely going to have these arches all the way through the bottom, just for more stability, but you just kind of get the idea. to get the upstairs ready and ready enough where I can start laying it out so I can figure out if I need more foundations or not basically. stone. Well, shit. Let me just come in here and get some more. Originally, someone's like, oh yeah, you should build your hotel out here. This way, it's out of render distance, and it's not going to cause lag. And I'm like, you know what, that's a good idea. Well, I'm known for building when I get bored, so that's why they're like, oh, you should probably build out here. I'm like, sure, why not? I'll give it a go. No one else is using the plug, right? Thank <laughs> you. 
five. Six, seven, eight. Well, wow, we're off by two foundations. Oh boy. We got to fix that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. You're missing foundations. Oh no. Have our eight by eight. I will go ahead and put the wood in the coconut, like so. I'm just gonna discard that. Put the lime in the coconut. Thank you, thank you. Down to demo these. It'll cost me more stone to maintain, so it's like it's just easier to just oop, gone. I don't know, I'm thinking about next week, I don't know, I'll probably play out this wipe and next wipe for Rust, but I'm thinking after that, maybe take a break from Rust. This way I can start focusing on like, Starfield, finishing off that series, start playing some other series. I don't know, I just think it's, you know, I've learned all the blueprints on this wipe, so next wipe is going to be easier for me to set up. You know, a place out here in the middle of the water. I think that's what slowed me down the most. Is I had to go deal with getting blueprints and all that crap. Tried to join another team, but they're like, oh, we're just gonna keep it to the end of friend group. And I'm like, well, hello. No. You know, you can ask. You know, never know if they're gonna get an answer or not, though. It's one of the tough things about Rust, especially if you're playing on a PvE server. Some people just prefer to stick with friends only. Uh, don't drop me in the water. Not exactly just what almost just happened there. I almost got dipped in the damn sea. Entryway to be about here, and then do this, and this, and then we usually have like a shop front here. We have a shop front here. And 
usually have a couple rooms in between here. I figured I'd start skidding it out so we can start figuring out if I need to more, add more foundations or not. Which I have a feeling that we're going to need to skin it more out. It's just a feeling I got. really want to do a 9x9 nine because nine, it, it gets pretty expensive maintaining. Because we want to make it so that you can come out here and chill as well. Slight gap here, but you know, you want to make it so you, people can chill out here if they don't want to be inside. Um, let's see here. Walk in here. We will do a double. Put stone inside of here. Here is usually where I have the workbenches. Usually walk down this way. Where is it? Three. Hmm. I think it's three. would make more sense of why this looks off. That does look a little bit more uncentered. Looks a lot more on point. Walk in, and then you usually create it with a nice little area here that has the workbenches and that kind of crap. Down this way, there's usually an arch here, and usually there'll be the way to get up here. So we definitely need to go over by like two foundations. Uh, water's trying to kill me. It's not allowed to build this many foundations, I think. Yeah, okay. So... Huh. I can do this. You kind of see what I'm doing now. I'm Making something work. Or nothing. Well, that's not what I want. 
vale, pero es que... Fell in the hole. I've been very bad to fall in the hole. It's not perfect, but it will work. down here and then there's usually a room here Forgetting that there is a walkway out there. That's like this. All right. Probably weave another road through here just so it lines up. It looks nice. That works. It's not what I had in mind, but it's close enough. Don't know the 
door here. Here and work on the uh, other little area. for this one little area is like this sliver here. I kind of got a feel. You walk in, you can chill out here, or you can go inside and chill out here. You've got your shops here, and you just kind of get the feel of it. You'll have things above here to tell you regarding the number of the room and things like that. It's all about, the rooms are pretty much laid out. I just gotta uh, set this up where it can start being used, basically. Let's see, we're gonna get rid of this window. Anyways, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe button. At least you guys get the idea of what we're building here. We're building a hotel. You got to see me build the floating foundations. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe button, and make sure you hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.